Hello everyone, I am Priyanka Bharti. In this video, we will learn pin description in detail. Here, I have explained the purpose of each pin of the 8051 microcontroller and also their functions. This video focused on input output ports of the 8051 microcontroller the four ports of the 8051 p0 p1 p2 and p3 each use eight pins making them eight bit ports these ports can be used for input or output port 0 can be used for either address or data port 3 can be used to provide interrupt and serial communication all the ports are being explained with the help of an example. We will learn how to read pin number of any IC. We will also learn how to remember all pins. This is the pin diagram of 8051 microcontroller. 8051 microcontroller has 40 pins that are dedicated to various functions such as input output read write address data and interrupts it is 40 pin chip from figure 1 out of 40 pins a total of 32 pins are set aside for the four ports p0 p1 p2 and p3 where each port takes eight pins there are eight pins left these pins are VCC, Ground, Crystal Oscillator 1, Crystal Oscillator 2, Reset, External Assess, Program Store Enable, Address Latch Enable. Six pins namely VCC, Ground, Crystal Oscillator 1, Crystal Oscillator 2, Reset, external assays are used by all members of the 8051 and 8031 families two pins namely program store enable and address latch enable are used mainly in 8031 based systems we first describe the functions of each pin and then all four ports before this, let us learn how to read pin number of any IC. Whenever we are going to read the pin number, keep this notch to the top and dot to the left. To read the pin number, we should start the left top will be represented by 1 and it goes down that is 1 to 20. Here it ends with 20 because 8051 microcontroller has 40 pin. 20 on the left side and 20 on the right side. 21 has to be started from the lower right bottom to the top. It increases from lower right bottom to the top that is 21 to 40. It ends with 40. In the right top corner we will have the final pin number 40. Here we can see the left top will be the pin number 1. Left bottom will be the pin number 21. Right will be the pin number 40 and right bottom will be the pin number 21. This is how we are going to read the pin number in 8051 microcontroller. Now how to remember the ports? See the direction of arrow. This is port 0. This is port 1, this is port 2, and this is port 3. This is supply pins and this is memory assist. 
पिन नंबर फोर्टी इज प्लस वी सी सी पिन नंबर फोर्टी प्रोवाइड सप्लाई वोल्टेज टू द चिप द वोल्टेज सोर्स इज प्लस फाइव वोल्ट पिन नंबर ट्वेंटी इज ग्राउंड पिन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर वर्क्स विथ वोल्टेज ऑफ प्लस फाइव वोल्ट विथ रेफरेंस टू ग्राउंड और विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू ग्राउंड नाउ कम टू मेमोरी असेस देर आर थ्री पिन्स एक्सटर्नल असेस एड्रेस लैच इनेबल एंड प्रोग्राम स्टोर इनेबल फर्स्ट वन इज एक्सटर्नल असेस इट इज पिन नंबर थर्टी वन इट स्टैंड फॉर एक्सटर्नल असेस इट इज एन इनपुट पिन एंड मस्ट बी कनेक्टेड टू इधर वी सी सी और ग्राउंड सेकेंड पिन इज एड्रेस लैच इनेबल इट इज पिन नंबर थर्टी इट इज एन आउटपुट पिन एंड इज एक्टिव हाई it is used for demultiplexing the address and data third pin is program store enable it is an output pin it is pin number 29 this is external clock there are two crystal oscillators connected with 8051 microcontroller it is quas crystal oscillator which is connected with pin number 19 as xtel1 and pin number 18 as xtel2 here xtel stands for external crystal the 8051 microcontroller has an on chip oscillator but it requires an external clock to run it that means with the help of both pins we connect external crystal oscillator in 8051 microcontroller this external crystal will generate external clock signal this clock signal is used to synchronize all the components of 8051 microcontroller clock frequency is 11.0592 megahertz This is the diagram showing Axtel connection to 8051 microcontroller both quartz crystal oscillator has two capacitors of value 30 picofarad one side of each capacitor is connected to the ground for example 12 megahertz chip must be connected to a crystal with 12 megahertz frequency or less that means if we connect a crystal of 12 megahertz then it will help microcontroller to generate 12 clock cycles in 1 microsecond to observe the frequency on the xtel2 pin using the oscilloscope then 8051 microcontroller is connected to a crystal oscillator and is power up now let us understand the figure here two pins are xtel2 and xtel1 to which crystal oscillators are connected along with this crystal oscillators two capacitors are connected and other end of capacitors will be connected to the ground now this capacitor will be giving 30 picofarad of ac input that is in transient response and then this oscillator will work with the help of this transient response in this way we are giving the clock signal to the microcontroller crystal we are going to use in case of 8051 microcontroller is 11.0592 megahertz 
this crystal will support the serial communication this is the diagram showing external connection to an external clock source if we want to use a frequency source such as ttl oscillator then it will be connected to xtel1 only in this case xtel2 is left unconnected that means there is no connection required in xtel2 this can be seen in figure 3 let us understand the figure here crystal 2 is not connected Crystal 1 is connected to the external oscillator signal so directly we are giving the signal to XTEL1. Now we are going to learn reset pin. If we are giving logic 1 then microcontroller is reset and if we are giving logic 0 then microcontroller works normal. Pin number 9 is the reset pin. It is the pin mainly used for resetting the controller. It is an input and is active high. The high pulse must be high at least 2 machine cycles. That is, to reset a minimum duration of 2 machine cycle is required or we can say the high pulse must be high for a minimum of two machine cycles before it is allowed to go low. Upon applying a high pulse to this pin, the microcontroller will reset and terminate all activities. This is called power on reset. Activating a power on reset will cause all values in the resistors to be lost. It will set program counter to all zeros. This is shown in figure 4. This figure shows power on reset with momentary switch. Now what happens when we use a momentary switch? When the power is turned on, the circuit holds the reset pin high for an amount of time that depends on the capacitor value and the rate at which it charges. To ensure a valid reset, the reset pin must be held high long enough to allow the oscillator to start up plus two machine cycles. This table shows reset value of some 8051 microcontroller ports. This table shows reset value of some 8051 microcontroller resistors now let us understand all the four ports of 8051 microcontroller and functions of each pin. This is port 0. It has 8 pins from pin number 32 to pin number 39. It can be used as both input or output. It can be used as both address and data bus. Let us understand when we use port 0 as input output and when to use it as an address or data. First, use as input or output. Here all the pins of port 0 must be connected externally to a 10 kilo ohm pull up register because P0 is an open drain. This figure shows port 0 with pull up resistors. Here we can see all the resistors of port 0 are connected to 10 kilo ohm pull up resistor with external pull up registers connected to p0 it can be used as a simple input output port for example get a byte from p0 and send it to p1 see this code 
to make p0 as an input port resistors are connected to port 0 the port 0 must be programmed by writing one to all the bits in this code firstly we configured port 0 as an input port by writing once to it and then data is received from that port and sent to port 1 Second one is use as an address or data. When ALE is 0, it provides data D0 to D7 and when ALE is 1, it provides address A0 to A7. To use port 0 as an address or data, it must be connected with external memory. Now come to port 1. It has total 8 pins from pin number 1 to pin number 7. It can be used as input or output. It has pull up resistors internally. If we reset then it can be used as an input port. As an input port. If we reset then it can be used as an input port. For example, toggle all bits of port 1 continuously. See this code. As an output port, if we are using port 1 as an output port and we again want it to make an input port, then it must be programmed as such by writing 1 to all its bits. For example, see this code. In this code, port 1 is configured first as an input port by writing once to it. Then data is received from that port and saved in register 7, register 6 and register 5. Now come to port 2. It has 8 pins from pin number 21 to pin number 28 it has dual function these pins are bidirectional and bit addressable it has internal pull up resistors it can be used as both input or output it can be also used as an address bus Now let us learn when to use as an input or output and when to use as an address bus. First one is as an input or output. It is used as simple input output with no external memory connection. Upon reset it can be used as an input port. To make it as an input port, it must be programmed as such by writing one to all its bits. For example, get a byte from P2 and send it to P1. See this code. In this code, port 2 is configured first as an input port by writing once to it then data is received from that port and is sent to port 1 continuously. Second one is as an address bus. When external memory is interfaced, then it is used as the higher order address byte. Now let us learn last port that is port 3 of 8051 microcontroller. It has 8 pins from pin number 10 through pin number 17. These pins are bidirectional and bit addressable. It has dual function. It can be used as an input output port. It has some additional functions. Now let us learn when to use as an input output and what are other functions of port 3? First one is 
as an input port upon reset it can be used as an input port let us learn some additional functions of port 3 pins first one is read data it is pin number 10 it is used to receive data for serial communication second one is transmit data it is pin number 11 it is used to transmit data for serial communication. Third one is external hardware interrupt 0 and external hardware interrupt 1. External hardware interrupt 0 is connected to pin number 12 and pin number 13 is external hardware interrupt 1. Fourth one is Timer 0 and Timer 1. Timer 0 is connected to pin number 14 and Timer 1 is connected to pin number 15. They can be connected with 16-bit timer or counter. Fifth one is Write. It is connected to pin number 16. It is used for writing data to the external memory. Sixth one is Read. It is connected to pin number 17. It is used for reading data from external memory. Now you clearly understand all the four ports of 8051 microcontroller and also all the pins of 8051 microcontroller. All four ports of 8051 are used as in, uh, input or output but port 0, port 2 and port 3 have dual function port 0 is used as address or data port 2 is used as only address bus port 3 has multiple functions in next video we will learn architecture of 8051 microcontroller in detail thank you